Happy birthday. Oh, I love this stuff. <laughs> I know you do. Listen, <sighs> I'm sorry that I've been off recently. It's just a whole surrogacy thing. Stressed me out way too much. I know, me and all. But you know what? Today is your day, so we're going to spend it however you want. Sounds good to me. So, uh, back to bed then. <laughs> oh, don't ignore it. Come on. I'll go. Happy birthday, pet. Oh. You get your present later. Lunchtime at the pub. Is that okay with you two? Actually, we we're uh, just going to have a quiet day at home. Alone. You'd rather forego a birthday lunch in the woolly to spend the day horizontal? Ooh, table's booked for one o'clock. Everyone will be waiting, so don't be late. Sorry. It's all right. Still got a couple of hours. Trying to kill me. <laughs> Very happy return, Roberto. Ah, oh, 33. How time flies. But it is still young in demon years. <laughs> oh, thanks, sis. How's uh, how's Matty doing? Oh, thank you for asking. The operation went well and he's back home now. Anyway, I hope you're ready for a proper sesh. Yeah, I suppose so. <clears throat> then I suppose you need to get one of these down you. Go on then, I'm in. Mm. Uh. I can't believe you started without me. <laughs> Fifth, body tonic, triple, please. I need some serious hair with the dog. Mm. So when I'm not stuck with you at home, I'm going to be stuck looking at you in here and all. It's a pub, isn't it? Kiss a break. What's all this, then? Robert's birthday. Oh. Happy birthday. Yes, love, happy birthday. You know, I still feel rotten about what happened the other day, but you know I'm wishing you both all the best about it, don't you? Listen, I hope you don't mind. I've got a bit of a job on here. I'm just going to douse the flames of torment and I'll join the party in a bit. Yeah. Maybe it's time. I've just bit the bullet and asked you your professional opinion. Do you think Amelia will ever forgive us or do you think she hates us forever? Before one can love another, one must first learn to love oneself. One what? Oh. <gasps> it's Joel. Oh, there you go. It's not all doom and gloom. You've clearly got stuff going on, so I think we should just leave it. Best I don't get involved, sorry. Oh, Kerry. So it was all for nothing. Amelia hates us. Joel wants nothing to do with us. I'll have room in life. So we go. I'm not sure what Natalie's uh, thinking, but we're going to go and see her tomorrow. We're going to try and win her over. She seems perfect. Just like you two, then, honestly. You'd be wonderful parents. Yeah, you'd be all right, I suppose. Wee. But I can't partake, obviously, but get your laughing gear around then, oh, More shots? I regret this tomorrow. <laughs> Boom. Oh. Oh. oh! Oh, my God. Cake, hands and boo <laughs> <laughs> All Victoria's handiwork. Oh, that looks amazing. Well, apart from the 33 bit. You know, this took flipping hours. No, seriously, this all looks great. Thank you very much. It's very much appreciated. Speech, 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 speech. I'm not really one for speech. Oh, and yes, make a wish, make a wish. Would you all please keep your joy and happiness down to the bare minimum? Because I am trying to be depressed over here. Right, ten minutes to carry, everyone. Oh, what am I going to do, Bernie? Amelia's like my daughter, man. Well, you can either drown your sorrows and get even more maudlin, which, professionally speaking, I wouldn't recommend. Or you could take action. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did say you were busy. Honestly, it's been non-stop. I'm like, oh, 